Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see one of the most important and most discussed topic from the psychology. That is the intelligence. So if you hear the term intelligence, so many images, so many famous persons, photo or images will be coming to our mind. Maybe like Albert Einstein, Thomas Alva Edison, Stephen Hawking, and of course Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So like that, so many persons' images will come to our mind. Because all these people what we consider like an intelligent people. Then the question comes, what is an intelligence? So if you come to the intelligence, first we'll go to the meaning. So it is derived from two Latin words, that is the inter and leaguer. The inter means in between and the leaguer means to select or to choose. Then the literal meaning of intelligence that comes under comes as intelligence is nothing but it is the ability of an individual to two choose in between. That means to choose or to select right idea or right concept or the right thing. That is the literal meaning of the intelligence. And uh, this intelligence, it is generally used to cover all our cognitive processes. That means the intelligence includes our perception, our attention, concentration, learning, memory, all the process, all the cognitive processes which includes the intelligence. Now we'll see the definition of intelligence. So if you come to the definition, we can say that the intelligence, it is the aggregate global capacity of an individual to think rationally and to act purposefully to deal effectively with his or her environment. So that is the definition of intelligence we can see. Now we'll move to the types. If you come to the types of intelligence, there are mainly three different types of intelligence are there. Mechanical intelligence, social intelligence and abstract intelligence. We'll see one by one. Come to the first one, the mechanical or concrete intelligence. So this type of intelligence, we can observe the person or the individual will be having uh, more capacity or they'll be more intelligent to deal with the uh, gadget and tools. One example, if you say the engineers, such type of people will be having very much mechanical intelligence. Come to the next type, the social type of intelligence. Here, uh, the ability to use the human relationship effectively, that comes under the social relationship. Say like a politician, lawyers, these people will be using more human relationship effectively. That comes as social intelligence. Come to the next one, the abstract type of intelligence. Here, the individual will be having capacity or more, they will be more intelligent to use the words and sentences or language effectively. The poets or those who are writing poetry, such type of people will be having this type of intelligence more. So these are the three important types of intelligence. Now we'll move to the theories of intelligence. So if you come to the theories of intelligence, can be broadly divided into two. One is a factor theory and another one is a process oriented theory. If you come to the factor theory, so this type of theory says that there are uh, so many factors that contribute to the intelligence. So we'll see one by one. Come to the first one, the monarchic theory. So the monarchic theory, which is given by Dr. Johnson. So according to Dr. Johnson, he says that a person who can perform one intelligence task very well can also perform another intelligence task also. That particular capacity he termed as a intellectual competency. But generally, if you see this theory, uh, which we cannot be giving explanation regarding all that uh, various types of intelligence. So this theory considered to be a rejected one because there may be uh, so many different types of intelligence are there and all the person cannot perform all the activities also. So that's why this theory stands re rejected. Come to the next one, two factor theory, which is given by Charles Spearman. So according to the Charles Spearman, all the intellectual activities are dependent and he had given two factors for the intelligence one is a general factor according to spearman the general factor will be common for all the intellectual activity he termed it as a g factor and there is another specific or a special factor he termed as an s factor 
come to the next type of theory it's the multi factor theory so according to the multi factor theory there are so many factors that contribute to the intelligence of a person and the thurston he had given one of the famous multi factor theory according to thurston there are seven factors that contribute to the intelligence of a person we'll see one by one first one verbal factor in the verbal factor it is nothing but how effectively we are using the words sentences phrases etc and there is a spatial factor it is nothing but the ability to recognize the things in the space means approximate distances what is image which is what we are seeing in the space everything come to the next one numerical factor the effective use of numbers then memory ability to recall then word fluency how fluently we are using the words then reasoning ability to go for a rational thinking and there is a perceptual factor how we are perceiving the thing how we are seeing how we are hearing so that perception factor so these are the seven factor according to thurston that contribute to the intelligence of a person what he called a multi factorial theory come to the next type of theory it's a process oriented theory so here it is mainly uh, happening due to the developmental developmental periods or the development of a person so the one of the best exam best uh, you know, theory of this uh, process oriented theory given by jean piaget according to jean piaget the individual will be going through the different stages like a sensory motor stages usually 0 to 2 years here there is a uh, object relationship or object existence will be developing during this particular age group then there is a pre operational stage usually from 2 to 7 years of age the development of the language will be there the intelligence it will be start to develop then concrete operational stage 7 to 12 years so here usually the logical operations will be there. the uh, child start to the school he study different languages different subject the logical thinking start to develop and intelligence also as a result if increases then the next one formal oper concrete operational stage and the formal operational stage so here about 12 years of age group it is a formal operational stage so the abstract thing in the child or the person will be able to uh, give an abstract meaning of everything extra abstract ideas he is able to give and the intelligence which reaches to the maximum level so these are the different stages of process oriented theory which is given by jean piaget and while coming to the intelligence there is another concept which comes iq intelligence question which is given by william stern so according to the william stern for calculating intelligence of a person we are using this iq he had given a definition that means the mental age is divided by chronological age and it will be multiplied in by 100 so here he told that iq is equal to ma by ca into 100 ma is nothing but the mental age that is obtained by different uh, intelligence test and the chronological age is nothing but the exact age of the person now we'll see the various intelligence test and uh, we are considering alfred binet as the father of intelligence testing so if you come to the intelligence testing there are two different broadly we are classifying this theory means this uh, intelligence test into two intelligence test that is the individual intelligence test and group intelligence test again intelligence uh, individual and group test we are dividing into verbal test as well as a performance test so we'll see some of the example come to the individual test that is the verbal intelligence individual intelligence test so there are certain example wechsler's adult intelligence scale wechsler's intelligence scale for children then stanford binet test these are the some of the example for individual verbal test come to the individual performance test bhatia's battery it is one of the best example for this test then we'll move to the group intelligence test again there is a verbal as well as a performance group test are there so while come to the verbal group test army alpha and army beta test then group performance test ravens progressive matrices so these are the some of the examples for intelligence testing and today we have seen regarding what's the intelligence what are the different types theories and what are the important intelligence test so that's all for uh, today's class this is vishan signing off till we meet the next class thank you